Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the very first session of our Career Partners Coffee Club. I'm excited to be here with you this morning to talk a little bit about careers so that you are as prepared and ready as possible when you're having conversations with students about their career exploration and development. So for our very first episode today, what we want to dive into is course registration. With registration coming up in just a couple of weeks, we thought that this was a timely topic to connect with you all about. So I'm going to share my screen here. There we go. And what we really want to hit home is the idea of reframing course registration with students. So obviously students have requirements they may have to complete, such as the Writing 105 requirement. Um, but we also want students to be approaching their, their course decisions with a different lens that can better help them connect the decisions that they're making in, for their courses to their career exploration and development. And what we want to reinforce with students is this idea of getting curious and just trying stuff out, right? The Rochester curriculum is set up perfectly for this. It's an open curriculum. Um, it is really set up to encourage students to, to try new things because through that exposure, students are learning new, um, new topics, new, they're discovering new interests. So we want to really encourage students to lean into those curiosities. But one of the barriers for students to do that are the risks associated with them. So we know that students are afraid to try new things when those things may have an impact on something as significant as their academic record. So we want to empower them to really take advantage of the options that are available to them to help lower that risk. So all of those things like the add drop deadlines, the SF options, auditing, all of those options are available to students to again, lower that risk so that they can try on new courses, see what they're like and not be so worried about it having an, an impact on their GPA in a, in a negative way, should that be the case. Um, we also want to encourage students to test out different formats of courses. So whether those are in-person or online courses, but also experiential courses. So things that are taking them, um, taking their learning that are, that's happening in the classroom also to an out of the classroom experience and variable credit as well, right? So one or two credit options can be just as, um, uh, full of potential as our full credit courses. And then also encouraging students to think about courses that may help them develop their college competencies is another, another thing for them to consider. We also wanted to share with you, if you're not already aware, the course CASC 104, Designing Your Life and Career. This course was, was developed specifically for first year and sophomore students. It's a one credit course. And what it does is use a design thinking framework and mindset to help students make decisions about their academics, about their, their uh, career pathways, and really about their lives. And one of the things that we think is particularly valuable at this point in time is that design thinking is a great tool to help individuals work through change and disruption when it's not anticipated. So as you're going about and preparing for X major or as you're going about and preparing for Y career path as an example, we know that at any, in any life, there's going to be change and unanticipated events. So it helps students work through that change in order to help them make decisions and continue on with their career exploration and decision making. Another course that students can consider registering for is our, write, our series um, of Writing 27X courses. So this is a partnership between the WSAP program and the Green Center. And this, is all, this course is all about helping students prepare to tell their story to a wide variety of audiences. And Rochester alumni actually help students do that. So they partner with our students in these courses and they're giving them real industry knowledge uh, feedback from their industry expertise. 
So this is a great uh, course to encourage students to register for as well. And the last thing I just really want to share with you all is to remind students that classes are just one way to try new things out. They are not the only way. They are um, certainly a great way to do so and to dive deeply into a topic. But for students who are just looking for, you know, uh, dipping their toe in the water, classes are, may not be the best way to do that. And there are a wide variety of other ways to gain exposure um, and try new things. So we can dive that into that uh, a little bit more in another episode, but for now, we want to, again, encourage students to be curious and try things out. We also want to stay connected with each other. Um, so please do continue to reach out. Let us know if you have questions. Otherwise, I will look forward to connecting with you um, over a cup of coffee or tea in the next weeks. And um, with that said, from my house to yours, I'm sending you all the best for good health and safety. Until then.